Hey there guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, so in this video I uh, actually did a poll on Twitter asking uh, if you guys would like to see the differences between CarPlay and iOS 12 and CarPlay and iOS 13, uh, which we are currently on Dev Beta 3, Public Beta 2. Um, today is July the 10th, 2019, so um, as far as the iOS 13 portion, uh, things could change, and if they do, I'll make a follow-up video um, of any changes that they do make for the CarPlay interface. So for now, I wanted to show you um, iOS 12 versus iOS 13 as it stands. So uh, right now, I'm on the home screen of my uh, Sony head unit, and it's a Sony AX100. Uh, so it's a slightly older head unit, but um, it does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So what I'm going to do here, and hopefully you can see this, I'm plugging in my phone here. So when you plug it in, you get, um, it obviously starts charging, and then it says CarPlay, and then it brings up your CarPlay menu here. So um, as you can see here, you have a, a similar kind of home screen to uh, what you're used to on your phone. On the left hand side here you have your most recently used apps and you can switch between them. So when you click that one, uh, you can click that one and it'll switch and each one will switch over uh, to the next one. Um, so in order to, and then you can go, you can press the uh, uh, home button there to go home. You can also hold it to go to Siri. What's the weather like today Siri? It's currently partly cloudy and 93 degrees in Jacksonville. That Expect cloudy skies starting in the afternoon and thunderstorms in the evening with mixed conditions for the rest of the day. Temperatures are heading down from 93 degrees this afternoon to 78 tonight. Mm. My weather data is provided by the Weather Channel. Cool. Uh, so, and then also you can see your time here and you can see your cellular service. Uh, your bars and what you are connected to. So I'm currently in my garage, so I'm connected to Wi-Fi, but this would us usually say LTE. So um, you can rearrange these, but you cannot do it on the actual uh, head unit. You have to do it uh, on your phone. So in order to do that, so we're going to go here, and then you would go to your settings, and you would go to general, oops, general, and then under CarPlay, and here you'll see the ones you're connected to here. And then other cars is basically when it's trying to connect to Bluetooth via um, to Bluetooth for the wireless thing. So uh, you have some options of icons that you can add to it. So if you have apps that are available to go on CarPlay, you can do that, or you can remove them um, however you want. So you have this basic layout, and you can basically move them over. And right as I did that it does it on the screen here as well. So, there you have it. And you can go between the screens and change, you know, whichever position you want them to be in. You can also go in and forget this car, so if you have a car that you no longer use, um, you can do that as well. Uh, you can see that uh, the time is blue, and that's because it is connected to CarPlay. So, um, while you can still use your phone, while it's connected to CarPlay, you really don't have many options because once you switch out of whatever app is selected on here, it'll just be this screen. So say I'm in Spotify and then I get out of Spotify and go to something else that's not supported by CarPlay, it will no longer be there. So that's uh, one of the downfalls of uh, CarPlay, but it does work really well. So here you have your maps and uh, you can add your destination in here, but it's easier to do on your phone. Um, but it's actually really good, works really well. You also can use Apple's Maps if you want to. So that's pretty nice, and you can do the same thing. It's easier to do it on the phone itself. Um, you also have Waze, which I've used before. Uh, your messages, I'm not really a fan of it because you can't read them, you have to listen to them. But they want you to keep your eyes on the road, so it makes sense. Uh, I don't have any music loaded on my phone, but let me show you what Spotify looks like. So you'll have your home recently played browse and library. And basically, you just go through and pick one. And it's not actually going to let you select a song on the screen. So like if I hit the album, it's going to start playing the album from the beginning instead of actually um, giving you the option of which song to pick. So you kind of have to fast forward through it. Anyway, so that's iOS 12's CarPlay. So let's go ahead and try iOS 13 CarPlay. 
Okay, so now we're um, going to try the iOS 13. I've already plugged in. I have an iPhone SE here running iOS 13 uh, beta 3. And so when you connect it on the head unit, it either pops up automatically or you can just hit the Apple CarPlay button here. And of course, it's kind of hard to see. But all right, so here's our new home screen. And uh, I must say it looks really nice. So uh, they've moved the time and the cellular service signal here uh, to the very top. Your three most used uh, or uh, your three recently used apps are here uh, a little bit lower and they're a little bit bigger, which is nice. And then to go to the uh, home screen, you press this uh, kind of eight boxes here that look like little apps. And then as you can see here, we have our maps and we have um, our music player side by side. So that's really, really cool. So if we hit that, we go to our uh, home screen here and really looks very similar, uh, except you'll notice, uh, let's see if my thing will here, come on, focus in. All right, so now the now playing here is a little bit different. Music looks different. Um, you have a settings button, which is interesting. Uh, so you can actually change the appearance now because you have that dark and light mode. So you can have it be automatic or always dark. So if we hit automatic, it'll be white during the day, uh, which I am not a fan of. So I will be making, well, let's just give you a look at it, how it looks when it's white. Wow, it's very white. <laughs> so if you like the light theme and it's automatic, it would change at night. Uh, then you can do that. And, uh, oh, okay, so you have a couple different options. So you press this. And that takes you to the home screen, and then you press this, and it goes to your dual screen there. So let's go ahead and change this back to dark, because it's really blinding me right now. Perfect. Yeah, so I like the dark, and that's kind of what it came with, so I'm kind of surprised. So again, on here, you can go to your apps. So you have, here is Spotify. Um, it looks a little bit different. I'm not sure if this is optimized for this yet. I don't believe it is. Uh, let's see if the maps come up here. Can you bring up that and that? No. Let's see. Will it let me? Okay, so I'm going to guess that these have to be um, changed to show the dual, uh, to be able to show, you know, side by side, because it has to be adjusted. So the only apps that will work right now, it looks like, are the, um, are the Apple installed apps. So, but this is kind of cool. So you can hit food here. And say we're going to go to St. Mary Seafood or this one. Okay, safety warning. Not that I really need that. We already get that all the time. Starting and route to Salento Colombian Steakhouse. Head mm -hmm. southeast on Carroll and Lane. Then okay. turn left onto Cameron Crossing Drive. Very nice. All right, so then we can go back into this. And let's see, can we end it? Where's our end button? Mm -hmm. Okay, so hit this. End route. All right, and then go back, and then you'd have your music and everything playing there. So that's really nice. So um, very cool. Anyway, so I just wanted to give you a quick look at that and uh, hope that gives you a nice little comparison between iOS 12 CarPlay and iOS 13 CarPlay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.